Hey guys, welcome back to another BTD6 modding tutorial. In this video, we're gonna learn how to change how much money we get at the end of each round. This is another really easy mod to make. Before we go any farther, if you haven't seen the getting started parts of this tutorial series, you should probably go and check that out. In them, I teach you guys how to get everything set up and how to get started making mods, as well as covering a lot of the computer programming terms that you're gonna need to know if you wanna get serious about making mods. You can find them at the top of my BTD6 modding tutorial series. Anyways, let's get started. I've got Visual Studio up. I'm gonna click create a new project and make sure I have all languages, all platforms and all uh, project types. And then I'm just gonna type BTD6 mod template like we made in our last video. I'm gonna double click on it and it'll let me create my template. Now I'm gonna set a project name to um, more and round cash. I'm gonna set my directory and I'm gonna press enter. All right, so my project has been created. Before we go any further, we're gonna make sure that this template is configured for our latest project. Let's start off by changing our project properties to match our current mod. It's really easy to do. Just click on the project button at the top and then click on properties, which is whatever's at the bottom. And you'll see we have an assembly name and default namespace. Make sure that both of these are the same for your mod. Now they don't have to be spelled the same. As you can see, I'm putting Putting spaces in here but the default namespace would need underscores the point is you want to have the names match at least match the purpose of your mod awesome so I'm gonna copy this assembly name I just added and I'm gonna save it and now I'm gonna go to my properties and assembly info.cs I'm gonna change this line here melon loader hypersonic stuff this is for my template so I'm gonna change that to match the current mod if you remember from our last video this is gonna be setting the name of our mod in melon loader and if you don't have these two lines and you're not sure what I'm talking about with templates and stuff go back and watch some of those introductions videos so you can get caught up to speed all right and make sure that this type of and then whatever is inside these parentheses matches the name of your project and this main file here if you remember from the last video the main file represents the main file it's where your mod gets loaded so wherever you did public override void application on start like this that would be your main file so even if it wasn't named main that's still the one that you want to put right here but with that we are ready to make this mod so in this video we're going to be hooking the on round end method in the simulation class that might sound really complicated but i'll explain it as we go through it to start off replace this type of weapon to type of simulation and make sure the intellisense which is this little box that popped up at the top make sure you click on the one that says assets.scripts.simulation because that's where it is in btd6's files so now we've told our patch which class it is in now we have to tell it which method it is so double click on the initialize and type on round end just like that. In the last video, some people were having trouble with the hooks. Make sure you spell this method correctly. Usually, methods are spelled with a capital letter at the beginning of each word. If you just spell it like me, you'll be fine. Next, let's go ahead and rename this class. Technically, you don't have to, but it's good to be consistent with the type of hook that you're doing. So I'm gonna get rid of weapon initialize, which is what we did in our template, and I'm gonna switch it to simulation, and then on round end. So now it says simulation on round end patch. Next, I'm gonna get rid of this weapon instance because we don't need the instance. And I'm gonna get rid of this line right here which created the hypersonic tower. And now what you should be left with is a blank harmony patch that looks like this. This mod is gonna be a harmony post fix, so we're gonna leave it that way. What this means is whatever the on round end method is called in the simulation class, our patch is going to also get called. Anything inside these two brackets right here is gonna happen after this method. I say after because it's a post fix. So now let's have it set the cache. For this mod, I'd like it to add cache. So I'm gonna do ingame.instance, which is gonna get the instance of the in-game. And I'm gonna do add cache. Uh, by the way, add cache only works with NK hook. If you're not using NK hook, you're not gonna be able to do it this way. Anyways, do parentheses and put how much cache you wanna add. I'm gonna do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nines. 
and put a semicolon. Actually, let's make that seven because uh, BTD6 gets a little weird. Now, if you notice, I have a little red squiggly line that means there's an error. And when I hover over it, it says that I've got to basically add a reference. So we're going to add a reference to Unity dot, sorry, Unity engine dot core module. So I just click show potential fixes and add reference. Click browse and make sure you go to your BTD6 folder, click on melon loader, click on managed, and then scroll down until you see Unity uh, core module right here. Click OK. We've got to add two more references. So hover over it again, click on show potential fixes, add reference, browse, and the same folder as last time. Scroll down until you see IL2 CPP MS COR lib. I'm not really sure what that is. So click that and then scroll down until you see unhollower base lib. So hold control and then click on that too and it'll select both of them. Click add, click OK, and we're done. So our mod is ready to go, but we're gonna do one thing here. Make sure your references tab is dropped down and then select all of your references except analyzers and then make sure they're all set to copy local false. Since we just added a few more references, we don't want those to start going in there when we build our project. Speaking of which, go ahead and build it by pressing Control B or by right clicking over here, clicking build or by clicking at the top and click build solution, whichever you prefer. Now that it's built, we have to copy it to our mods folder in BTD6. So right click on your project over here in the solution explorer, click on open folder and file explorer. By the way, make sure you click on your actual project. If you click anywhere in here, it might not show. So make sure you click on your actual project, then click on open folder in file explorer, go to bin debug and copy the DLL then go to your mods folder paste it in there and start BTD6 up all right so we're in game I'm gonna place down a tower start the round and let's see what happens almost there and look at that we just gained a whole ton of cash and notice it's adding it's not setting the cash if we were to set it then it would force it to stay at one value but since it's adding it's constantly adding it if you wanted to you could make it add a certain amount of cash based on the round number it's really easy to do that i'll explain it more in another video but for now just follow my lead so we're gonna do uh in between these parentheses here and post fix we're gonna do int round and now we have the round number for this method so like I said I'll explain that more in another video but the quick version is the on round method and BTD6 has a parameter called round this is the exact same one and that's why it works but yeah, we'll cover that more in another video. I don't want to overwhelm you guys. Anyways, let's get into this. So we're going to copy this line right here and I'm just going to cut it by pressing control X. And then we're going to do if parentheses round equals equals three. And then, you know, we're going to go to the next line and do uh, put the curly bracket so it looks like this and then paste your code. So we got if parentheses round equals equals three and parentheses. And then we have our code like this. Then it's gonna give us this cache. Now let's go ahead and press enter and do else and then press tab twice paste our code again but this time instead of giving us a lot of code let's only give us 10. so if the round equals three meaning we just finished round three give us a trillion money otherwise only give us 10. let's build it and check it out all right so we are in game and if everything goes well then at the end of this round we're only going to get 10 extra money which we did awesome so this is round two awesome still did not get infinite money there awesome and look at that we just got way too much money now if you're wondering why it activated when round four ended instead of round three it's because it starts at zero so when we finished round one the way the game is programmed round zero just ended but that's the video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions feel free to ask or join the discord server and ask us there i'll see you guys in the next one